Welcome to Lock Orthodontic Specialists. Today's topic, a brief history of orthodontic braces. Orthodontic braces are a very common fixture in our modern society. It's not a rare occurrence to see our family members, our classmates, or our co-workers with some kind of braces on their teeth. Now we see both children and adults wearing braces in a rainbow of colors that allows each individual to express themselves by customizing their own mouths. Origins of Orthodontics Although braces are now a very common part of our culture, very little is known about the origin or development of this practice. Both Aristotle and Hippocrates talked about ways to fix dental challenges, including the straightening out of misaligned teeth. There are a few individuals who are today considered the inventors of modern orthodontics. Their ideas were developed in the late 19th century. The first such individual was Norman Kingsley. He was a sculptor, an artist, and a writer, but he was first and foremost a dentist. In 1880, he wrote a major article called Treatise on Oral Deformities which has since had a very profound effect on dentistry. Another very influential father of modern orthodontics was Dr. J. N. Farrar. He developed the idea of using intermittent mild force to realign dental irregularities in the 1880s. He authored books that dealt with his ideas about correcting orthodontic problems. Dr. Farrar's scientific approach to biological issues related to orthodontics was fresh, new, and revolutionary. Modern Day Braces Around the turn of the 20th century, another dentist named Edward Angle added to the art and science of orthodontics. He's considered by many to be the creator of modern orthodontics. His system of classifying dental arches is still used all over the world. In 1887, he wrote the master work, Treatment of Malocclusion of the Teeth. This tome has been revised and updated and republished many times and is still considered the cornerstone of modern orthodontics. Dr. Angle was originally from Pennsylvania, but taught as a professor at a few medical schools, and in 1900 founded the School of Orthodontia in St. Louis, Missouri. During his career, he developed many different types of fixed orthodontic devices and appliances. Many of his inventions have since evolved into the braces and retainers as such that we are familiar with today. We owe a great deal to these pioneers of tooth straightening. Many of the oral conditions that cause great ridicule, discomfort, and pain are now correctable. Crowding, odd spacing, overbite, crossbite, etc. are all now treatable thanks to these pioneers of braces. Some other conditions that can now be taken care of with orthodontics are speech impediments, jaw pain, difficulty eating or chewing, sleep apnea, grinding or clenching, gum disease, and tooth decay. Since the 1800s, the orthodontic industry and science have made great strides in technology and treatment. Many, many smiles have been improved as a result of the early efforts of these now famous men and their followers. To find out more information on topics like this, please go to www.lock-ortho.com.